Today we are going to be looking at the VoltMe 3-in-1 fast charging set. Before we start, if you find the video useful, a like would be much appreciated and subscribe for more reviews. So let's have a look at what we're working with here. We have a 100 watt fast charger, we have a 65 watt fast charger and we have a USB-C to USB-C fast charging cable. So let's first look at the 100 watt fast charger. Before we start by looking at the charger, let's actually have a look around the box. So in the front here, as you can see, it's a Voltme Revo series PD fast charger. Have a look on the back here, as you can see Revo 100 there, just showing the wattage. We have Tier 1 developer in GAN charger, VoltCare after service support and 18 month hassle free warranty. There's some outputs there, I got mine in black. Let's have a look at the outputs, which we will discuss in a few minutes anyway. So now let's see inside, let's get the charger actually out. So just open the box up here. So here is the 100 watt fast charger. Let's have a look at it. Here's your light indicator, USB-A, USB-C2 and USB-C1. Just remember the difference between them as I will be mentioning a lot of USB-C1 and USB-C2. Mine is three pin as I am in the UK. Vault me there on the bottom, just some out output again, QR code. So let's talk about the output distribution on this charger. So when the USB-A port is running on its own, it will use up to 60 watts, whereas both of the USB-C ports, so USB-C1 and USB-C2, they will both, when they're running alone, they will both be running up to 100 watts. So now let's talk about the dual port outputs. So if both USB-C ports was in use, the first USB-C port, so USB-C1, which is the bottom, would give up to 65 watts, and the second one would give up to 30 watts. If you was to use the USB-C1, so the bottom one, and the USB-A port together at the same time, the USB-C1 port would give up to 65 watts, and the USB-A port would give up to 30 watts. Lastly, if you was to use the USB-C2 port and the USB-C-A port together, they will both give up to 24 watts each. Now, if you was to use all three ports at once, so USB, USB-A, USB-C1 and USB-C2, USB-A would give up to 12 watts, USB-C2 would give up to 12 watts as well, and USB-C1 would give up to 65 watts. Just a couple more facts about this charger is that it is 38% smaller compared to an original 98 watt charger. Also, it does have universal compatibility, so it can charge something as little as your earbuds or Apple Watch, for example, up to your laptop. So now let's talk about the 65 watt charger. It is very similar to the 100 watt charger, however, this is 65 watts. So around the box, we do have the same, Revo 65. The output will be different, obviously. T1 developed GAN charger, service support and warranty. Let's get the charger out. So here is the 65 watt charger. If we look on the top here, this will be your USB-C1, this will be your USB-C2, and this will be your USB-C-A. Now it does look exactly the same as the 100 watt charger, except this one is much smaller. So let's talk about output distribution on this charger. For single mode outputs, if the USB-A port was used alone, it would give up to 36 watt, and the USB-C ports would give up to 65 watts each. So let's talk about dual mode outputs. If USB-C1 and USB-C2 was used together, USB-C1 would give off 45 watts, and USB-C2 would give up to 18 watts. If USB-A and USB-C1 was used together, USB-A would give eight, up to 18 watts and USB-C1 would give up to 45 watts. If USB-A and USB-C2 was used together, both of them would give up to 20 watts each. Now, if all three ports was used together at the same time, USB-A and USB-C2 would give the same amount of wattage, which is 15 watts. However, USB-C1 would give up to 45 watts. 
Just some more facts about the 65 watt charger are that it is 50% smaller than an average 67 watt charger and same as the 100 watt charger it does have universal compatibility so it can charge from something as small as your Apple watch to your laptop as I've said. Finally let's have a look at the USB-C to USB-C charge cable. This charge cable is 3.3 foot or 1 meter whichever one you want to call it. It's very strong and has up to a 25,000 bend lifespan. It does also have universal compatibility so any device with a USB-C charge port will can be charged with this cable. This cable is a 60 watt charge cable. It does support fast charging up to 3 amps and data transfer speeds up to 48 megabyte per second. Some of these cables do have different colours on the inside of the USB-C tip here. As you can see mine is black which means it's a 3 amp to 20 volts. However if you do get the purple it will be a 5 amp to 20 volt or if you get the orange it will be a 6 amp to 20 volt. I just wanted to briefly talk about GAN charging as we have mentioned it in uh, today's video quite a lot. GAN chargers are used as it is more efficient than a regular charger in converting power to electricity. They are much smaller and portable too enabling them to charge a device 10 times faster than a normal charger. Also, they produce less heat, meaning the charger will stay cooler on the surface, meaning basically you'll have less chance of burning yourself. And there you go my friends, that was the Voltme 3-in-1 charge set. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I will leave a link in the description for each product, so the 100W charger, the 65W charger and the USB-C to USB-C cable in the description down below. If this video was helpful to someone, please leave a like and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.